Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is your host Aditya and you are watching part 4 of the common bird series. And in this part, I will be showing you some of the common birds found in Florida. So let's get started right away. This is a snail kite, one of Florida's locally endangered species with a population of less than 400 breeding pairs. It is a bird of prey in the family that includes eagles, hawks and vultures. As the name suggests, its diet consists mostly exclusively of apple snails. This is Eastern Meadowlark. It is a colorful medium-sized songbird in the family of blackbirds. Their song is a pure melancholic whistle. This is a great crested flycatcher. It is a large insect-eating bird of the tyrant flycatcher family. It is a sit and wait predator. Despite the flycatcher of the bird's name, flies along with spiders make up only a small percentage of its diet. It prefers prey such as butterflies, moths, beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, bees and wasps and sometimes even small fruits and berries. This is a limpkin. Its name is derived from its seeming limp when it walks. It is also called crying bird because of its vocalization. It is a large wading bird related to rails and cranes. Its diet is dominated by apple snails. Its bill is long, heavy and down curved, slightly open near but not at the end to give it a tweezers like action in removing snails from their shells. This is a house sparrow of the sparrow family. It is considered to be the most widely distributed wild bird in the world. You can find house sparrows most places where there are houses. It is a very social bird and is usually found in both urban and rural areas, usually away from extensive woodlands and grasslands. Though it is widespread and abundant, its numbers have declined in some areas. This is a grey plover, also called as black-bellied plover. It is a medium-sized, chunky, large-headed shortbird with a short, thick bill. It breeds in Arctic islands and during winter, it migrates to coastal areas all over the world, including Florida. It forages for food on beaches and tidal flats, usually by sight. It usually preys on small mollusks, worms and insects. This is a grey catbird. It is a member of the mimid family which also has mockingbirds. It is called a catbird because of its cat-like vocalization. It also mimics other birds and frogs. Its diet mostly consists of fruits and berries. But it is also known to eat beetles, grasshoppers, ants, earthworms and caterpillars. This is a mallard duck. It is a large duck with hefty body, rounded head and white flat bill. It is a dabbing duck which means that it feeds by tipping forward and grazing on underwater plants. It is omnivorous and very flexible in its choice of food. Its diet includes insects, worms, many varieties of seeds, plant matter and roots. This is a loggerhead shrike. It is named the butcher bird after its carnivorous tendencies as it consumes prey such as amphibians, insects, lizards, small mammals and small birds. It has been repeatedly observed killing prey larger than itself by sparing the head and neck of the animal and twisting it. The speed at which this occurs causes a whiplash injury to the animal. And now we are looking at the last bird of part 4. Before we finish, please like this video and comment below which is your favorite bird in this part. Also, please subscribe to my channel as that would help me a lot. This my viewers is an American coot. It is mistaken to be a duck but it is not. It mostly inhabits wetlands and prefer living near water bodies. It mainly eats aquatic plants. 
Due to its chicken-like appearance, it is also called a mud hen. So this brings an end to part 4 of my common bird series. Do check out other parts in my channel or by clicking on the playlist that you see on the screen. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until I upload my next video, take care everyone.